So since Monday, we've done another 25 interviews, and uh, yet last night, which was Wednesday night, uh, my colleague and I uh, in St Catharines in engineering sat down to look at all the candidates that had applied to St Catharines for engineering, and we looked at their interview notes and their interview marks to look at their, the scores that each of them got for um, both the interview and also their overall mark so that we could come up with our uh, preferred choice of candidates. We were also taking into account the marks that they got at their second uh, interview at another college. So it's not just our marks that count, it is the marks from other colleges that count and we're very um, keen to know what our colleagues are saying about the candidates that we are looking at as well. For the, for the top candidates, it's pretty clear cut. I mean, it's actually quite um, reassuring that the, the marks that we might give for interview uh, correlate fairly closely to the marks that are given by our colleagues at other colleges. And, and bear in mind, these are independent marks. And so, clearly for the, the top candidates, they, they tend to get the uh, good marks at both the first interview and also the second interview. And so, a discussion about um, those candidates is, is, is much e uh, is easier than candidates where there's one really good mark for an interview and, and one not so or not as high mark for an interview where there we need to have quite a bit of discussion about the merits of, of the candidate. The, the discussion last night went for about three hours and it, it's quite detailed because we're also um, comparing our notes and looking at other people's notes on the, on the, on the candidates and maybe ringing up our colleagues to to ask them firsthand what they thought of, of our candidates. This morning I was able to get up quite early. My little boy came in and woke me up at about 5.30 and uh, what that meant of course was that I could go and watch some of the cricket which as an Australian it wasn't the best news to wake up to but there's still another four days in the test match so we'll see how that goes and uh, so I, okay I was up quite early I had a cup of tea, read the paper, played a bit with my, my son but I was also um, looking at my notes a bit later in the morning and, and collecting everything for our, our meeting uh, this afternoon. And also we, we have a, a computerised system for collecting the marks and, and allowing us to look at what marks other people have given. So we can log into that from, from home and I can see uh, how some of our candidates may have scored at, at other colleges. But what, what I think is quite amazing is the, the whole process that we, we go through and the logistics of that process. Um, today we've made about 160 offers for engineering for next year. Um, we started with a list of 940 people and we, we have uh, got that down to the 160 people that we, we want to teach next year. We did that in two stages. The, the 940 people applied uh, in October. Uh, we then took uh, time to look at their UCAS forms and look at their personal statements and, and grades to determine who we should shortlist for interview. Um, we can interview about 450 people. They each get two interviews, so that's 900 interviews. There's about 50 or 60 people doing the interviews, so at any one time there's about 30 interviews going on. Uh, th this is a very big logistical process. Uh, each interview is, is graded, the UCAS forms are graded, the, each candidate is given an overall grade. And from all that information, uh, we then uh, hone in on the 160 people that we want to make offers to. So we have one more meeting tomorrow. Uh, that's a fairly short meeting where we decide the, the remainder of the places um, that we have on offer. Uh, and after that, that's the end of the process. Except, of course, that uh, we give our lists to the colleges and, and the college will then send out the offer letters to the candidates. And, and fingers crossed, the candidates should receive these before Christmas. Uh, so. Uh, those with a place will get a, an unexpected Christmas present. The role that we play in admissions, it, it is very hands-on. It's a privilege, but it's also one of, of great responsibility and it's one that um, we put a lot of time and effort into so that we do make the, the right decisions. And uh, it's one I also enjoy quite a lot because it, it is very uh, interesting to meet the next, next generation of, of students and, in my case, engineers.